Hey guys, welcome to the vid. It is a random all over the place vlog. As usual, very chaotic. As soon as I speak, the dog has to go onto my lap. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you. Guys, I was just upstairs cleaning. Look what he did to the fucking mat. Like, for fuck's sake. And he knew the second I came down, he was fucking scared. Oh, why? Like, why do that? Hey guys, so I am back from the gym. I've had breakfast and all of that. And honestly, Bob's been such an angel today. He's just been sitting here. Are you tired? I think you might be tired because he gets up at the crack of dawn every morning because Con goes to work like pretty early and I get up at the same time and then he's woken. But then we go to bed at like 10, maybe 11 by the time we actually go to sleep and I can still hear him like wandering around down here, sometimes trying to open the door to get up to us even. So he probably doesn't sleep that well. Um, especially just because he's only here and he's not used to it and he sleeps down here by himself but I think we're better off getting him used to being down here and having some time not with us as well Um, so like it has worked out well but I don't think he's been sleeping that well so he's just relaxing you're so cute anyway I am gonna go up today my mom is off on Thursday so I quite often go up on a Thursday and meet her and go for a walk and lunch and stuff Um. So yeah, we both need to go to Dawn's, but I don't think I'll be able to leave him alone with Bonnie just yet. She might be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Bonnie is my mum and dad's dog, so um, <laughs> yeah, they're going to meet. I'm hoping that she'll teach him her good ways because she's such a little angel. Now, she was definitely not perfect when she was younger, like, but you just forget. I feel like it's like giving birth how you just kind of forget the like stress of having to push a baby out of you and then you want to get pregnant again do you get me so it's like you forget what they were like as a puppy and then you get another dog because bonnie's like nine now so in our years obviously so like she's pretty settled she's still like fun and happy and healthy um um bouncing around but she's much more like independent now she'll happily just sit at the other end of the cage whereas he has to be on your lap and if you're not giving him attention he's on your back do you get me um he's trying to climb up behind you he's trying to sit down on the couch before you so that he gets to sit right beside you like it's so sweet but like you just forget what they're like and also like bonnie we used to go off to school and work and stuff and leave as like a puppy um for a good few hours like and she'd be fine but she would like we and shit all over the house um to be fair though she wasn't let out sometimes for hours so like you can't really blame her um and yeah she still sometimes has accidents but she is such a good dog she's such a nice calm nature um she's really good she'd never hurt anyone she's so not aggressive she's so calm she's so um just oh you just when you meet her you just love her she's so cute and so good um and he's definitely a similar personality but he's at the younger stage where he's a bit more hyper um he's not that like he's been so calm today so i don't know if he's also been just nervous because um we went to the pet shop yesterday just a small one down here in wicklow and it was so good like i would really recommend it like to anyone um even if you're not from around here it's so nice um and yeah the woman who works there I, i'm guessing that she might own it but i don't really know for sure um she has 32 husky dogs so yeah and a horse and probably other animals they're the only ones that she mentioned and she basically knew everything about like training and stuff and she was telling us to like ignore the bad behavior so like if he does wee or poo in here it's because he doesn't feel safe outside on his own like he's worried that there's someone behind him and stuff so then when he gets inside and he's more relaxed and he's with us because it is always like in front of us that he does it we won't like be upstairs and come down to like him doing we or anything or one on the floor he always does it when we're right beside him and i'm like are you all right because he definitely knows that he should go out like even when he was in the pen they said that he had a little crate that he slept in and then he did his like business outside it and ate outside it so and they said that he always kept like his crate clean and stuff he was good like he knew he knows like he's about 18 months they're guessing so like he's not a puppy he should know the basics do you get me like obviously that we slip up like they're still young and i know that he's 
going through a lot of change and stuff like that and he's probably confused and stuff like that so like obviously i'm not gonna be like i'm not gonna be shocked by it you get me but um yeah we do need to like work on it but anyway she was recommending because he does it in front of us that he that's when he feels comfortable so he needs to get used to just being on his own and just going out and doing it on himself so usually he won't go out the back unless we can with us to get me like he can be waiting at the back door and still he won't go out unless we go with him so we've been babying him too much and going out and stuff and then he might eventually do something while he's out there but he doesn't actually feel that comfortable like he might after a while of us being beside him but he's still nervous the whole time that you'll go in without him or whatever so he doesn't do it he's never weed on a walk he only poos he fucking poos on them i tell you but um yeah she said he's just not like fully comfortable yet and stuff that's why so when he gets a bit more confident and stuff with himself he will wee on his walks and stuff like that but um obviously the poor thing has to go so then when he sees us and he's a bit more relaxed he's like i can't i have to i have to go because you can tell by him that he knows he's doing it wrong like he knows that he's in trouble because he's like getting nervous and stuff he like feels like we're gonna give out so she said don't even give out don't do anything don't say anything just literally ignore him and i've been doing that and then the last time he did something i was just like ignoring him and he kept trying to come over and give me attention or get my attention and stuff and i was ignoring him so she was like they like it is working do you get me because i was like maybe he won't notice that i'm ignoring him though but he definitely does so um yeah we're gonna do that and she also said just put him out not in a bad way like give him a treat while he's going out so that he doesn't associate it with being in trouble because we kept when he was doing stuff putting him out um for a while and that was a big mistake so obviously that would upset him and stuff but anyway yeah so she said start doing that and make it a positive thing and just put him out close the door and leave him out there and hopefully he'll do his uh business out there and then um let him back in or whatever and give him another treat like just make it good so he will eventually hopefully get the idea and like when he needs to go run over to the door or bark to let us know so um yeah that's apparently how you will learn. I don't know how long it will actually take. He's quite good though. Like it is I think mostly nerves that he does do them. Like I do think that he understands. Um, I think it's just a new environment and whatever and he needs to get used to it. So anyways, hopefully that will work. And we've got him a few new bits. I found him a few treats that he likes. I'll show you the ones that we got. Um, She tried them with different things. She tried them with um like there was like bones like big animal bones and pig's ears and stuff and people recommended them to me but obviously it depends on the dog different dogs like different things like bunny would do anything for a biscuit i think i've already told you that but he's not interested in the biscuits that we got him anyway so might try the ones that, she, that bunny actually has but we'll see i'll try them at one of hers today <laughs> um yeah so basically he is he didn't like the bones or the pigs or he wouldn't go near them he's like <laughs> when she gave him them she was like i would guess that he he was like on a farm or something especially because his tail's been docked and like a country farmer kind of still does stuff like that even though it's, it's actually against the law to do but it's because their tails get stuck sometimes when they try and go down like rabbit holes and stuff like that all these like smaller kind of terrier dogs that they have um their tail can sometimes get stuck and dislocate and then it causes them hassle because they have to sort that so they've they started just cutting their tails stocking their tails um to stop that but like it's pretty cruel um anyways so yeah he she's guessing that he was on a farm somewhere probably and he doesn't really have like a hunting kind of nature like they'd hoped or he didn't he wasn't doing the stuff that they needed him to do as like a sheep dog kind of um naturally so they kind of just get rid of them she said that it's very often that they will just bring them to a pound and just make a donation or whatever to get rid of them um because they don't really serve a purpose for them and the farm or whatever so that's what she's guessing happened but like we don't know anything for sure um but yeah then the fact that he didn't like the pig's ear or the other bones and he kind of got a bit scared by it she was like i'd say that's another sign that he was on a farm because he um probably had a like bad encounter with uh, like a pig or a similar animal or whatever 
um and that's probably why he's like no that's not for me so it's gas like the psychology behind it but she was like maybe in the future he'll come around to them and he probably will but for the moment he's still a bit scarred so um that's fine by me because they're pretty feckin' gross so we got these small like chicken bone things i'll just show you and he loves them he had it gone so quickly though because i need these things to like entertain him while i'm busy or whatever just stop and chew and other stuff up but <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm just ready now to go up to my mom and dad. I'm also meeting Megan as well because we're gonna get back to Girls and Field Dude soon now. And um, we took a few weeks just break in between seasons and we wanna meet up and decide like where we're going with it, what we want, um, who we wanna have on. If you have any suggestions, do leave them below. Um, so yeah, I need to remember to get Megan on the vlog this time because the other day I was meant to and then I completely forgot when I saw her because I was with her and Aoife, our other friend, and I just completely forgot. So <laughs> terrible. Um, but anyway, I'll get used to it now. I just have the time to put a makeup on because I've got three horrible looking just under the skin spots that don't look nice. So I put a bit of foundation on and then I just ended up doing the rest, but it didn't take long. I'm literally just wearing this um, zippy I got from H&M men's section extra large it's not that big but it's nice it covers my bum so i really wanted a nice big comfy one that i can throw on so um love this love the quality the zip and all is really nice and um, like dark gray quality and then i just have this little black cropped t-shirt from plt and these are also the h&m leggings they're quite good i really like them so far um and just my more nice because i'm gonna go for a walk and stuff so want to be comfy <laughs> I am a little bit nervous to take Bob in the car. <laughs> I won't lie, like he was fine in the car the last time, but I was holding him and he was very trying to get on Con's lap and stuff. So I was holding him and he was fine then when he settled down. That was like the day that we got him. I don't think he's been in the car since. It's like a half an hour drive to my mum and dad as well. So I'm really hoping that it's gonna be fine. I've literally let him out like 20 times because I really don't want him to do away or something in the car. Like oh, all the stress of cleaning that. Anyway. Fingers crossed it'll be fine, surely it'll be fine. He's pretty calm and happy today, so hopefully it's a good day. There he is, he's the best boy. Guys, he literally, he shook the hole up. Here's Megan, up to my mom's, but he's been fine ever since. And here's Megan now, look at Megan. <laughs> you yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. Isn't he much smaller in person? Yeah. Hello, oh he's scared. Him and Bunny loved each other, but he's much calmer. Like he's pretty happy. Hello. Okay, so my rug is so um just gone like it's cream, so it's just gone like really dark, really brown. I'll show you it now. But I picked this up in Duns yesterday. It's meant to be really, really good. My dad said it was great a while ago, I remember. And then a lot of you recommended it as well. So this is the Dr. Beckham carpet serum carpet stain remover you can also get a special pet stain and odor remover as well but this does like neutralize any odors and stuff like that i mostly just wanted to brighten up my rug and make it look new again because it doesn't look great at the minute so i'll show you before and afters and stuff of this i'm gonna give it a quick hoover first i just tested a tiny bit there and i've only just put it on i haven't like washed it off or anything yet but i think you can see a difference already you see like this bit here not the dark bits around it so yeah it looks really good look at this little baby good boy well done so yeah if it's good i can use it in the cages and stuff if they need it they're actually all right at the moment but you see all the dark bits there just like from us having like dirty shoes or whatever and probably some of his monkey paws too i can't really blame him because it's been like this since before we even had him <laughs> but um yeah it's just cream so it's obviously hard to keep it clean but it looks if I lift this up, it's so clean underneath, so when he gets off that, I'll show you how much um, lighter it is underneath the footstool, because we nearly always have that there in that same position, so it's mental how dirty stuff gets, and you don't even really notice, it's so weird. So yeah, I'll move this now. <laughs> Boy, you were all right. He literally always has to be right beside me, bless him, but um, yeah, so you can see how much lighter it is underneath the mat there, so I'll do some little before and afters now. He's just so cute. I can't. Good boy. He got a new collar. Can't remember if I showed you. He also got a new lead and he chewed through it. <laughs> Already. Not the full way through, but most of it. <laughs> but so cute. Still a puppy. For another while, I'd say. I think he's like 18 months. Anyone who's 
Texas Tooth and stuff to tell us like two different people from the world after it's a very few months. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's literally all done already. Like, it's definitely meant for just like a small stain, a few small stains, not like the full carpet, but it is working really well. This part was probably the dirtiest because it was closest to the door, so we've stood in it the most. But, um, yeah, it's actually gonzo. <laughs> oh, and I did like the tiniest bit. Anyway, it will still make a difference. Do you think it looks nice, Bob? Do you? Yeah, good boy. Just got another healthy cave delivery. What a Friday. I feel like this literally happened for a reason because I was like gonna make lunch and then I was like, because I looked at it at like one o'clock and I was kind of hungry. I was like, wait, no, I'm not even like slightly hungry. So then I was like, I'll put off having um lunch for a bit and I'll keep them um, working away. And then this arrived and I feel like that's why he's playing with packaging. What's inside? I wonder if it's like the same stuff as last week or some different stuff or what I'm very excited. Oh, unreal. Wow, some new stuff, some old stuff. So, this looks insane. Insane. 422 pounds as well. Like, I could have that for lunch. Peppered chicken and mash. Oh my god. They had chicken supreme last week and mash, and it was. So good. It wasn't like just potato mash. It was like, um, like it was like parsnip. What's the other thing? Turnip and parsnip mash, and that was delicious. And I don't even like. It is Saturday. Just made a coffee to bring with me. I hope he's not pulling <laughs> on the lead someone. It's okay. You can keep eating. Go on. Good boy. Do you need a pet? The oh boy. Oh, who's the best boy? He's the best boy. And then we're gonna go out for a quick walk and then I'm gonna come back and have a shower and start getting ready and stuff. I'm going out for lunch with my friends. Brunchy lunch. Good boy, I think he's scared of the camera. Good boy, you excited for your walk? Oh, good boy. He needs to get a bit excited. Since yesterday, he started getting excited. Sorry, my glasses fell off. He started getting excited for walks. I think he actually understands the word kind of now and like the lead, which is pretty cool. It's pretty quick. We've had him tomorrow. We'll have him for a week. Such a quick week. So we just got back from deals in the pet shop. So that's some of these puppy pads are only one fifty. They're worth a try. I'm gonna put them like at the back door and on the grass in the garden so we get used to where to we. And the rest we got in pet stops. So I got this chew stopper. Someone recommended this spray. It was actually a different one, but this one was a bit bigger for a bit cheaper. So I guess it would probably do the same job. So you spray it on furniture and stuff that you don't want them to wreck. So I'm gonna do that ASAP. And um, oh, Congo is also in deals for him to learn how to play fetch. And um, then this is a little bone that we got him in the pet shop. Um, I guess that's like it. The rest of it is old. It's all set clean. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we got him a thing on his neck. Where is he? We got to him. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put him this with his name and the numbers. And then we got him a new lead. Where's that? We got him this like thicker lead, and it's like this. So hopefully he won't chew it. Do you like it? Well guys, the anti-chew spray did not work. I can safely, safely say. He hasn't touched the mat yet, but he has, or well again, he hasn't touched it again. But he, that's him trying to open the bloody door in the room at the back. Cause it's the only place I can that he won't wreck everything when I go out. Cause I have to go to the shop and the post office and stuff. Um, yeah, he ripped another pillow. I so I think the problem is he doesn't actually chew them. I think he actually rips them anyways. So I don't know what to do about that, like, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh for God's sake. But so now I think he can hear me. Maybe if I go, he'll be okay. The door's already all scratched. I'm trying to jump up and open it. 
Hello guys, I thought I'd probably pick up the camera today because we're like having a few days. The dog is trying to jump up on me. He's such an attendant, like ah. But hey, get off my laptop. Get off, you know you're not allowed in it. Over here and sit. He thinks it's a game whenever I start talking to the camera. Be gentle. He's just so vicious, he just jumps onto everything. Not actually vicious, but like, you know, he's just like inconsiderate to other people and to my laptop, especially. I don't know why he always jumps on top of it. I don't know how it's not damaged. And um, since I last saw you, last saw you, I got my hair done. Now it's greasy and tied up. I got like thicker bits at the front, so it looks kind of weird when it's tied up. I feel like because it looks all the one color rather than highlights. I don't know, but um, I'm so cold, so cold. It's got so much cold in the last few days like the night before last I got such a bad night's sleep because I was so cold so I was literally trying to lie underneath Connor I was so cold I was like oh it's terrible so last night we had the electric blanket on for a good bit and then also had a hot water bottle and it was great but then I was getting too warm you just can't win but I'm so cold right now my toes are freezing I might go get my slippers on I've got a few orders to uh pack from over the weekend so I'm gonna go and package them up now um and bring them down to the post office I just had a few ad mini type stuff like emails and stuff to source this morning so that's what I was doing it's now about half 12 so I'm gonna start packing have some lunch and then probably go down to the post office I only managed to get two done today. One of them was massive. One of them was actually three orders all from the same person. Uh, so it's basically the orders that I fucking. So yeah, I'm gonna run to the post office now before it closes. That is the dog climbing up my legs in the background. And yeah, do the rest in the morning and bring them in the morning. Hello guys, just coming on to end the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Excuse the state of being just back from the gym and editing. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have made it this far, then thank you so much. I'm always so grateful to people who actually watch the whole video because sometimes I talk a lot of shit, but anyway, thank you. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it won't be long. I need to step up my game. I need to get back to regular uploads. So my goal is next week, get back to Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday or Sunday, I usually upload. Oh my God, there's something wrong with me. I think it's Sunday. <laughs> anyway, at a minimum because I just need to push myself again. I've been way too easy on myself um, and I love it. Um, so yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.